Shut the fuck up, bitch. Trump 2020 pro-life. <laughs> yeah, you white Instagram thoughts are all the same. You'll do anything for attention. Y'all are just lonely. It's kind of sad. <laughs> LOL. You look about 13 years old. Caitlyn is a professional career woman. You're a little girl who lives at home with her mommy and daddy. <laughs> Transgender women cannot menstruate! Bitch, I know. Nobody's arguing that they can. Like, who, who said that transgender women can menstruate? <laughs> when those good looks of yours fade, people will see you for who you really are. Just another misinformed bubble brain. I don't look so great right now. <laughs> <coughs> hey cuties and welcome back to my channel for another video. In today's video, we're going to be reading my first ever bout of hate comments. Woo! <laughs> Specifically my hate comments from Caitlyn Bennett fans. We're gonna be going through them and uh, reading my responses to them and you know having a good laugh at how funny the haters are. I think I'm probably the only person on earth who was like so excited to get hate comments. Like I saw my first hate comment on that video. I was like, oh my god, I made it guys. I made it. I got a hate comment. <laughs> so if you can't tell by my voice, I'm a little bit, a little bit sick right now. So uh, bear with me. I, you know, actually a lot of people tell me that I have a very like sexy sick voice Those people are liars <laughs> I do not I think it's just because my voice gets like deeper and more raspy than it normally is when I get sick <clears throat> So I'm really sorry if my voice sounds really gross today So first of all before we even get into these hate comments though, I just want to say I hit a thousand subscribers guys Oh my god. Thank you so much like from the bottom of my heart it was my goal by 2020 to get a thousand subscribers and then new year's hit and i hadn't e i wasn't even close to a thousand subscribers now i met a thousand subscribers and like i woke up this morning and saw it and had the absolute biggest smile on my face you don't even know how happy i was like this is so exciting so i just want to thank each and every thousand and 40 of you right now and I'm sure when this goes up there'll be more but like thank you so much all of you I love you so much. Thank you for supporting me Thank you for all your kind messages on Instagram and on Twitter and on all other social media platforms all your comments Literally, I read all of them. Don't even like if you don't think I read and reply to those I do like thank you so freaking much like I have so much love in my heart for each and every one of you uh, To all of you that like were so touched by my videos and like so thankful for those videos Like I was really surprised that you know, I just made those videos because I was freaking angry <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna you know reach so many people and have so many people like be touched by it So like thank you. <laughs> thank you so much guys. I love you <laughs> Oh my god, I'm annoying. Okay, we're gonna get into the hate comments. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by looking at the hate comments I got on my first video called Caitlyn Bennett gets destroyed by feminists. So this is one about the transgender bathroom rights And so we'll go through the comments on this one and then we'll go through the comments on the second video as well <laughs> So someone said left-leaning and liberal people have absolutely no respect for human life They have no respect for other people's point of views and this video is a perfect example of it So the video in which I showcased Caitlyn Bennett going and having no respect for the people she was interviewing, having no respect for transgender people, and having no respect in general, was the perfect example of how left-leaning people have no respect. Yeah, cause, cause that makes complete sense, right? Like, who, wh where, bitch, um. I replied to that saying, hi, did you even watch the video? <laughs> this comment was probably one of my favorites. I mean, one of my favorite hate comments. So this guy's name is Errol Flynn's Swashbuckling Revenge. We're just gonna call him Errol. I was gonna call him Swashbuckling, but we'll just call him Errol because I don't even know what his fucking name is. Errol commented, LOL. You look about 13 years old. Caitlin is a professional career woman. You're a little girl who lives at home with her mommy and daddy. Okay, first of all, do not hate on me living at home, okay? I'm saving money while in university. Thank you very much, bitch. She takes on entire crowds of radicalized lunatics. Radicalized lunatics, really? Um, because these people don't look like radicalized lunatics to me. They just look like people trying to have fun, live their lives, love who they love, and be who they are. That's what you want to call a radicalized lunatic. Call Caitlyn Bennett that, too. You sit in your parents' house 
taking selfies of yourself all day. You kids should stick to TikTok because everything you do is full cringe. <laughs> okay. Basically, I replied, Hi, I'm actually very close to Caitlyn's age. Like, legit, bro, like, thank you for saying I look 13. Do, I, I didn't think I looked that young, but thank you for saying I'm... You know, when I'm older, it'll, it'll be um, a good thing that I look so young. <laughs> I'm a fully, fully grown, fully educated woman who is able to form my own opinions and critically analyze other arguments in a respectful and intelligent manner, unlike Caitlyn. I actually don't sit in my parents' home taking selfies all day, but I enjoy how you assume you know me. I spend most of my day in my university classes studying, reading, and working. I'm not a kid, I'm a woman, and just because I enjoy a good TikTok joke online doesn't make me any less competent, intelligent, or any less of a professional career woman. Anyways, thank you for your comment and have a nice day. Then he replied, how old are you? Your video is riddled with rumors, lies, gossip, and playground insults too. He also said that it seems to me that you guys can't handle the truth. So I replied, So when people present her with facts, statistics, and opinions that completely destroy what she's saying, and she purposely misinterprets them and ignores their valid points, she's doing what? Respecting their opinion? No. Listening? No. Handling the truth? No. She isn't debating people. Do you understand what a debate is? She never once critically analyzes anyone's point. That is not a debate. She's incapable of posing an unbiased question. She's unable to break down an argument and expose it as invalid. I study critical argument analysis every single day. So please tell me where she is trying to have a debate in any of her videos. I'd love for you to to dispute that. Seems like you can't handle the truth, sir. And he replied, you're obviously doing this to grade grab for extra likes and subscribers. I'm 28 years old. Given your appearance, I'm probably old enough to be your dad. My dad's 60 years old. You're not old enough to be my dad, okay? Like, ew, what the fuck? You're 28 years old. You're the same age as my sister. You're the same age as my sister and you're telling me you're old enough to be my dad. Okay, sir. And I said, and yes, I'm 100% in it for the likes and subscribers. Why else would I post on YouTube, LOL, oh my god. He replied, men don't menstruate. Men who identify as a woman, as women don't menstruate either. It's biologically impossible. Errol, we're in agreement here. Biological men don't menstruate. And men who identify as women also don't menstruate. We're in agreement here. I never once in my video said that that wasn't, a, that was right. Like, where did you get that from? I don't know, you're just pewing out shit here. It's because transgender, transgender women don't have a female reproductive system, and whether they like it or not, they'll always have male DNA and other uniquely male organs, hormones and chemicals in their bodies too. You have presented no facts in your video, only opinions. Why do you have an aversion to facts? I literally just replied, biological men do not menstruate. Cis men do not menstruate. Biological females menstruate and F to M transgender men might still menstruate while beginning hormone therapy, and those are facts. Can you provide a rebuttal to that? He replied, I'm a medical professional, and there's no truth to any of your claims. Who taught you this insanity? He has no idea what I even said in the video. Like, he's very confused here, clearly. Listen, kid, I'm not going to attack you, which you've been doing this entire time. Um, I'm going to be the responsible adult here and give you some fatherly advice because you need it. No, actually my father's wonderful. He's the greatest man I've ever met and he's taught me how to voice my opinions and be an intellectual and be a better person than you are. So no, I don't need your fatherly advice. I have a father who gives me advice all the time and I love him, so. By making this video, you've condemned yourself to appeal to a limited audience of people. It's a bad career move. Can you please take a moment to think about how dangerous your narrative is? Young and impressionable people will listen to you and follow you because you're beautiful. Take responsibility, you're pushing a very bad message and deep down, I'm sure you know it. So all I got out of those three messages was that you think I'm beautiful. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> That's all I heard out of those messages was like, stupid, 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 you're beautiful. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> So I replied to this. Okay, so saying I'm a medical professional is not an argument. I was like, it's a statement. You really are an, unable to give a real argument to dispute my points, which tells me that you really do not understand critical analysis and argument deconstruction. Arguments are formed like A is correct, and if A then B, and it follows that C. For example, biological women have periods. Trans men are biological women who identify as men. Trans men exist. So it follows that trans men have periods. That is how you formulate an argument. That is a fact and it is complete and a valid argument. If you'd like to argue with it, please, 
I implore you to critically analyze and break it down as a medical professional. Then I said, I'm content with my audience. I don't want to appeal to transphobic people. And he replied, kid, transgender women cannot menstruate. Bitch, I know nobody's arguing that they can. Like who, who said that transgender women can menstruate? Who said that? I don't even think transgender fucking women are saying that. Like who? I never said that. We get it. We're in agreement here. We both believe that transgender women can't menstruate. So like, <laughs> what are you saying, sir? They lack the biology to do so. Men do not produce menstrual blood. I know that. <laughs> oh God. It's deeply concerning to me that you seem to believe otherwise. I don't. Clearly you haven't read any of the things I've been saying. Identifying as a woman doesn't mystically transform a bio biological man into one. I'm aware of that. It's a medical and scientific impossibility. Do you believe that pigs can fly? Uh, no, I don't believe pigs can fly. I also don't believe that transgender women can have periods because they were born with biological male parts. Like, where did you ever get that? He goes, I gave you the benefit of the doubt, but I'm beginning to realize that by doing so, I've overestimated your intelligence and your ability to be reasonable too. No, I've clearly overestimated that you have any capacity to understand an argument because like you've just been stating things that I agree with this entire time. You're like, you're stupid for believing this. I was like, I don't believe that. He's like, you're stupid for believing this. I'm like, I don't believe that. And he's like, you're stupid for believing this. I'm like, I still don't believe that. So you can sell your lies all you want. Just keep in mind that they'll come back to bite you in the ass someday. Oh, I'm so scared, sir. Oh my God. Medical and biological facts may not be your strengths, but at least you have a beautiful face going for you. <laughs> Make the most of it, kid. When those good looks of yours fade, people will see you for who you really are. A very intelligent, kind, and amazing human being? I hope so. <laughs> he said people will see you for who you really are. Just another misinformed bubble brain. Wasn't he just talking about playground insults like five seconds ago? And now he's calling me a misinformed bubble brain? I don't think I've ever heard the term bubble brain before. It's like literally fifth grade shit, dude. How old are you again? Old enough to be my father and you're calling me a bubble brain? Fucked up, man, that's fucked up. Irrational violence is dangerous. That's why the narrative you practice is dangerous. I mean, look at what it's done to you. Oh my God, oh my God, look at what it's done to me. My parents are very proud of me, thank you very much. So it's actually done some great shit for me, bitch. I said, sorry for the late response, I was in class. By the way, calling me a kid when you're when we're actually very close in age doesn't make your argument sound good. It just makes you sound like a disrespectful ass, to be honest. Now you're purposely misinterpreting my arguments for your own gain, which is a sign of bad argument analysis. You're twisting my words because I never said that trans women can have periods, LOL. I'm fully aware they cannot. Trans men, however, can. Maybe read what I said over again. Anyways, I don't understand why you're so obsessed with what's going on in other people's pants or what genitals they have. Maybe focus your time on something else. I said, I'm actually very intelligent and not only that, but I'm kind as well. Well, you've called me a bubble brain, immoral, a child, and all types of other rude comments. I've been nothing but kind and rational. But because my opinion differs from yours, doesn't mean you get to call me unintelligent and a child. Your disrespect just proves the difference between us. Yes, my looks will fade, but I will always be a kind and intelligent human being. But thank you for your opinion. And he replied, Please understand. I'm merely remarking upon the conduct of your behavior and the manner in which you've chosen to enforce your views. You're an attractive person. That isn't a compliment. It's a fact. <laughs> You're an attractive person because you've attracted enough people to establish yourself on YouTube. When I posted this video, I had like 700 subscribers. Yes, I've really established myself on YouTube. These people are impressionable. They look up to you and they listen to you. Chances are a lot of them would like to be you too. That's why I'm making these videos because people are impressionable and people might listen to Caitlyn and believe her fucking ignorance sorry guys i had to suddenly switch locations okay but we're gonna move on to a different comment because that one was just like it was just getting so stupid so someone commented the same person who commented the first one was like fight for gender wage gap between all 64 genders never allow the fathers to have those unborn babies gender is a social construct but what if those unborn babies identify as a six-year-old child some unborn children are women so women are not created equal and do not get the same opportunity in life. I literally replied to that being like, this made literally no sense. Gender is a social construct, but age isn't. <laughs> oh my God, I'm laughing so hard. Yes, the fetus who can't even think for itself is identifying as a six-year-old, LOL. And someone commented, wake up. It was for 2000 years and now you decide there's no gender and you choose insane. I just replied, actually, transgender and gay people have been around for centuries. <laughs> um, 
maybe read up on some history a little while. It wasn't like a sudden revelation that these people were like different and different in genders like exist. It's, it's not. If you look historically, it's actually not. It's not a very new thing. It's just new that it's being accepted, right? This guy commented, so you don't like her beliefs and you want to see her suffer for them. See, when people like you are in charge, you make people like her suffer. That's why she's pro Second Amendment. That's why we'll never give up our guns. Because she's worried about what happens when authoritarian leftists gain power. By the way, how do you feel about your most famous trans woman, Jessica Yanov? First of all, Jessica Yanov is not a most famous transgender and she's an anomaly. Like, I'm not saying that transgender people can never be predators. Trans people can be predators just like cis people can be predators. You know what I mean? Like it's it doesn't change anything, right? Like, but just saying that trans people are predators because they want to use the bathroom of their of their gender I they identify as is so fucking wrong. Like, you know, that's what I'm saying here. I said, LOL, when did I say I wanted her to suffer other than me joking? And sir, the US had more mass shootings last year than they had days. I'm just gonna leave that statistic there because there is no other proof needed that your gun laws are idiotic. And he goes, oh, Becky was just joking. Our gun laws are fine and have nothing to do with crime. To say that your gun laws have nothing to do with crime is so invalid because what are most crimes like committed with? The gun crimes are very big in America, right? And in Canada and Australia, we both have very strict gun laws, right? So in Canada specifically, we're only allowed to use guns for um, hunting and for like police and yada, 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 whatever, whatever. I'm okay with those gun laws. I really love Canada's gun laws. Our crime levels have gone down significantly. Australia's crime levels since they abolished those um, like personal gun rights have gone down like an insane amount. Like. And they keep going down, like ever since they got rid of those gun laws. So I just don't see your point of how it doesn't, how gun laws don't correlate with crime because they do, they do. Like, just look at the statistics. Like, what is your proof that they don't correlate with each other? Because I have stats for you if you want them. Like, I was like, okay, dude, just stop replying on my post because clearly like, you're not getting me. I'm not getting you, like, just give up. And he goes, I'm merely just replying to your comments. I'm like, you realize that your comments are just helping my engagement of my video. So that's why I reply back, like, you know, I don't have to reply back to hate comments. Like, I do it because it's good for my engagement. Anyways, he said, I'm starting to wonder if you're hitting on me now. Um, I have a girlfriend. Just saying, so yeah, no. I literally replied, I'm replying back because more comments equals more engagement for my video, which makes it do better on YouTube. So actually go ahead and keep commenting. You're helping me. And LOL, you're so self-absorbed. I do not want you. <laughs> Bye. Then he replied, yeah, you white Instagram thoughts are all the same. You'll do anything for attention. Y'all are just lonely. It's kind of sad. And I replied, oh yeah, us Instagram thoughts are such attention whores. Does your imaginary girlfriend know you talk to women this way? Tisk tisk, another incel at it again. I'm fucking dead. These comments are hilarious. And someone commented, shut the fuck up, bitch. Trump 2020 pro-life. And then the American flag emoji and then the Christian cross symbol. <laughs> Oh no, I've pissed off the Trump supporters. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry, dad. <laughs> he didn't want me to piss off the Trump supporters. <laughs> and I'm going to the States in like a few weeks too, so I'm a, I'm a little scared. Someone commented the liberal logic is so retarded. I'm not liberal. I'm not liberal. I'm democratic. <laughs> Okay, so now we're gonna read the comments from my second video, which is called Caitlin Bennett Gets Owned by Two Highly Highly Educated College Students. And we're gonna read some of the, let's see, let's try to find some hate comments on this one. I am actually like, it's so cute now that I have like more subscribers. People are like coming to my defense in the comments and it's like making me so happy. <laughs> I'm like, yo guys, I got stands. I got stands who are attacking Caitlyn's stands, okay? I made it. This girl also commented, is this your defi definition of getting owned? And I replied, I mean, what else would you call a situation where a person basically asks people to discuss a topic with her and then could barely get out a full thought? while other parties critically break down and construct arguments. In a debate, that's what we what we would call getting owned. And then people people to the people reply to this being like, Caitlin literally threatens people with guns over and over again in her video. She insults them and she says I'm packing if they get bothered by her insults. You're mad this girl made one joke about fighting with hands rather than arms. Come on. Are you just gonna ignore how Caitlin Bennett literally harasses people and threatens them? Very interesting. And then another person commented, she apologized, but Caitlin threatens people with guns. So interesting. I fucking love you guys. I love you guys so much. <laughs> Someone commented, wow, you're really pretty and dumb. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. 
I appreciate it. So, someone commented, please meet up with Caitlin Bennett, which I'm trying to. Honestly, there's just so many positive comments, I can't even find the hate ones. I love this. Oh, someone said my eyes look like a Disney character. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're so cute. People keep asking me to make more videos, but I said I wasn't gonna make any more videos on Caitlin Bennett. Fuck, do I have to make more videos now? Jesus. And basically that same girl, that, that same first girl also commented being like, how is Caitlyn Bennett? Because I, I commented back to someone being like, yeah, she's very uneducated and like politically illiterate. But I meant in the context of this video, like the stuff she's talking about, she like has no idea what she's talking about really. And so he, she was like, how? How is Caitlyn uneducated? Get, where's your proof? And I literally like wrote like a whole paragraph of my proof and sent it to her and she never replied to any of my replies. It's so great. Anyways, there's just too many positive comments. I'm gonna go and reply to everyone soon, but I gotta run to class right now. So that was basically all the hate comments I got. Honestly, I just thought they were like super funny. I was laughing the whole time. Don't think I was ever bothered by any of them. I just like getting in heated debates. That's just like who I am. Yeah, honestly, it's been like overwhelming how many people have like stood behind me with these videos Like I thank you to all my new subscribers Like I love you guys so fucking much like you don't even know I'm so happy that all of you guys are part of the family and hopefully send me videos also like my Instagram's usually linked under all of my videos Send me on Instagram or Twitter or any other social media platform you can find me on Just send me videos that you want me to do a video on and I will do them Please send me more videos and I'll do more Remember to like comment and subscribe down below because you know I appreciate that so much Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one Peace.